What's going on, it's the Rap Nerd, and I just got out of seeing Sonic 2 on the big screen, of course, and uh, this exceeded the hell out of my expectations. I loved it. I, 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 I loved it, man. Um, I've been an avid Sonic fan since the first one came out on Sega Genesis. Since that moment in time, when that, when that game hit, I've been a fan ever since. I even own comics. Like, if you look right here, this is a, this is a Sonic comic. Some people don't even know that, you know, Sonic had comics, so... Always loved Sonic, and then when they introduced Knuckles, I liked Knuckles even more than Sonic. So, going into this movie, I was very skeptical because I'm like, are they gonna get Knuckles right? Knuckles is my guy, so let's make sure they get him right. And they got him right, they nailed it. Idris fits the, fits the voice of this dude perfect, the way he speaks is perfect. Him being everything they do, warrior, the strength of fighting, they got Knuckles so right, and that made me so happy. So, uh Again, this movie was a good time, honestly. Um, the fir I like the first one. If you look at my review, and oh, you know, I, for, for the first one that I did in, the, in 2020, you might see a little disdain where I'm kind of like, ah, I don't know. But I'll restate again that at the time seeing the movie, I didn't know it was rated PG. I thought it was PG-13. So I was like, why is it, you know, really kiddish like, you know, being PG-13? But now knowing the rating, I'm like, oh, it makes sense. Then. I, I, so everything that I had as far as the tonal evaluation of the film is a little bit different and the same tone here um but i would say that it feels a, a little it feels more serious honestly in certain spaces like it's a real threat happening you know eggman comes back as you've seen in the trailers and he's like real eggman here like it's not like the first movie where he was becoming eggman i mean he's full flat out eggman I mean, jim carrey gives another like riddler like performance with, with his character, you know, playing Eggman. And for some, that may be too much, because I've seen some people say that, like, you know, his performance was uh, way over the top. And I can definitely understand that. I didn't have a problem with it, just because that, that Jim Carrey to me is like, again, it's, it, it's nostalgia. Like, I just picture the crazy-ass Riddler when I see his performance. So I didn't mind it, but I thought it was cool. Um, and again, he's full-on Eggman. Gadgets, plans, quips, robots, and everything, like, I take it there this time for him, you know. So Knuckles was great. Uh, Eggman was great to me. Tails was, was Tails for sure. Um, you know, inventing these gadgets and having these certain gadgets to help them out in a bind. Because at first I kind of forgot. I was like, how does what is this thing Tails is holding? And then I was like, how did he get it? And then I started thinking like, Tails is an inventor. That makes sense. Okay. So again, they get the lore of all of these characters right. Sonic again was, was fantastic, just like he was in the first one. The design, I love the opening sequence, the action sequences that happens. And speaking of action sequences, every action set piece in this movie is a banger. There's like four or five. The first one, I'm not gonna reveal what it is. Let me think, how many is it? It's the Yeah, there's like, honestly, five or six just, just that I'm thinking about, and every action sequence brings it, man. Like, they, they get that action of Sonic and how things, how he does things so right. It feels like it's ripped straight out of the video game. I mean, the whole movie is just ripped out of a video game. So many references here and there. Like, I don't know how, how people, I, mean, I don't know how many people know that the Sonic lore goes really deep, like, really, really, really deep. In the comics like this one, that came out to help expound upon the video games that came out and hell, the later ones like Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 on Dreamcast and GameCube like it really dives extremely deep into the lore of what Sonic is and how far it's taken I mean there's like th those games are like full of from underground and to, to underwater all the way up to space like in, as you can see in this movie it's intergalactic Sonic is an intergalactic character so they, they really flushed that out really, really well. The explanation of the Chaos Emeralds, which I'm gonna just say something in this film made me extremely happy because I didn't know if they were gonna do this thing, but when they did it, I got giddy as hell in a the theater. I was like, oh, they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it. To the point where my daughter was just like, what's going on? Like, what's, what's happening? I don't know. So I, I got giddy like that. You know, in, in, in certain points of the film, just because I know where they're going. And I'm telling you, after what they did with this movie, they can take it there. I mean, they can go full-blown Sonic Adventure 2, which to me is, 
out of all the games, that one is one of the, the biggest stories that we've seen, um, that I've seen personally with Sonic, and the one that feels almost anime epic, a- anime levels of epic. And I'm like, what they did here, they could do that um, moving forward, especially when a certain other thing. <laughs> I don't want to say anything because for those who are Sonic fans, they're going to see certain things and be like, holy shit. Like, there's one sequence when... Nah, I ain't going to say that because that's, that's going to spoil what happens. But there, there's just clear references. Like, I mean, there are... What is it? Iconography shots that are, like, sh- pulled straight from, like, video game covers that are pulled straight from comic book, like, uh, comic book covers. Like, they do that so well. And even, you know, I keep want, I keep wanting to say stuff, but I feel like it's spoiling. I don't want to say that. But there's like two levels, two levels. <laughs> there's two sequences in particular that just feel like literally they are torn straight from the video game and brought to screen. And in the credits, they kind of replay everything in like an 8-bit version of the movie. And it's just it's just so great. You, you really can see it come together. And I just thoroughly enjoyed it, man. The VFX were good. And again... That action, man. Whew. Like the way that they depicted Knuckles' powers and his strength, the speed, the the obstacles, Sonic dodging them. And it's, it's just, they did it so damn well, man. So damn well. So, um, I also like that the humans kind of took a back seat besides Eggman. Eggman is the one, he, he's the main human in here. The, you know, the couple and, you know, the wife, sister, and all that, they're in the movie, but they don't take up as much time as the first one. They just really let loose and have Sonic, Knuckles, Eggman, Tails just run the show. And I, I really, really enjoyed that aspect of it because it's, um, even if you aren't aware of these characters, you get enough from the performances to kind of get an idea of what kind of character each person is. And I just thought it was done really, really well, man. Really, really well. Even Knuckles, they, they even go into his origin and his roots of where he comes from and why he is the way he is and it's just dope and like I said I'm always a Knuckles fan so they got that right I don't know, know about anybody else but I always thought Knuckles was black <laughs> I don't know I thought he was like the black character because he has dreadlocks for god damn for, for god's sakes you know what I mean um one of the reasons I, that I dreaded my hair not the full reason but I just thought it was cool to have a character that had dreadlocks and I think in the comics they actually refer to them as dreadlocks I, if I'm not mistaken I'm, I'm gonna look again but um I, I enjoyed the hell out of this movie. The only, I guess one of my only issues that I can really point out and, and, and think about off top, because again, when I watch movies, I'm not watching them taking notes for real. It's just more so things that just stick out to me that I will mention in this review, in my, in my movies, period. So I can say it does feel a little long at points. Um, I think there were some, there were some unnecessary parts that like, you know, didn't need to be in a movie that didn't really push the story forward. You could do it out like, one in particular is this um, scene when they, I think they go to, to, to Siberia, I believe. And um, they walk into this like bar. And I, I, I get why they did it because it's kind of a mirror of the first one when they go into a bar in uncharted territory. But uh, it lasted way longer than it should have. And it just wasn't really that, it wasn't really necessary in a sense. Um, it just wasn't necessary to be there. They could have, there are a few sequences like that they could have cut out to make the movie shorter. But um, again, it's an epic ride, man. I mean, when the set action set pieces hit, I mean, you, you're, just, you're just strapped in. Especially if you see it in theaters, you are strapped in. The sound design is really good. Some, some really good music choices. This was an all around great time. Great time. Like uh, I liked it more than the first one, honestly. And I, I, I can't wait to watch it again on a home video because my daughter, she loves it. Man. She absolutely loves it. All she's talking about is Eggman, Eggman. Like, before we went to go see this movie, she was just talking about Eggman and Sonic. But when we left, now she's a Knuckles fan. And that's so dope that I get to share my childhood with her. And, you know, that aspect of it is what made this movie special too. So maybe there could be some stuff that I'm ignoring, some flaws that I'm ignoring, but being able to take my daughter to the movie theater for the first time just meant so much to me. Seeing her happiness and the smile on her face and the oohs and ahs she had, it just, the overall joy brought tears in my eyes because it just, it's so dope to be able to share something, or, you know, share that experience with her in general, taking her to the movie theater. Um, and something that I love, like Sonic, and now she loves it too. So, you know, 
she's a movie theater junkie like I am. And we left the theater and she's looking at the Minions poster like, Daddy, can we go see that now? I'm thinking it's already out. I'm like, how we got to wait, you know, for a few months to go see that. But we'll definitely go. So uh, that, that, that's super dope, man. Um, and I also kind of see, this is a tangent, I promise I'll be done. I, I kind of see why a lot of companies like to do reboots or continuing an IP that doesn't really, I guess, kind of need it. And it's not to, not to excuse cash grab, because cash grab is a hell no. But it's fun to be able to share these things with your kids, man. Like, you know, because I've been a fan of Sonic for, for forever. And now that she's at this age where she kind of gets it and understands it and likes it, it's dope. And I didn't even push it on her. You know, it just so happened to be a thing that she saw it on TV one day. Or, no, 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 I, I, put, I put the move, the first movie on last year just watching it. And she just dug it because, you know, she just liked how it was and it was organic. So I think it's just cool to be able to share those things and pass it down to your kids and then their kids. And, da, 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 da. and I can tell her things about it that she didn't know. Like, again, there's a certain sequence that she was like, what is that? And I had to tell her, like, that's blah, 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 what it was. And she's like, oh. And then the movie referenced it. And they're like, oh, OK. You know, so anyway, safe to say I had a hell of a time. I enjoyed the heck out of this movie. It's going on my one of my favorites list this year. And man, if you are a Sonic fan, like like you played the games and you're into it and you know the lore, you're gonna you're really gonna love this movie, man. They 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 pack so much in and I, I enjoyed it. So um, if you see a Sonic, let me know what you think. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Until next time. Peace. Rap nerd productions, no capping, that's word to mommy.